Hello there. So, in this video, I'm just going to be taking a look at one of the, what might be one of the best ways to start quickly and easily uh, improving your overall kick height. So, let's get straight into it. So, to start this off, I'm going to we're gonna have to look at um, the two different types of, the sort of two main types of stretching that there is, or like the types of flexibility, um, as well as what sort of muscles are stretched and need to be flexible for most types of kicks. So we'll start with um, the two types of flexibility which are dynamic and static. So static flexibility is sort of like, you know, you think when you think classic box split, you know, say you come to a position like this and you hold it, this is static stretching and you kind of get it, you pull it out and you just hold it in that position or try and let it relax like sink in. It's almost like you've got the muscle and you're just trying to sort of gently pull it apart to sort of force it to become longer, in a sense. And then you've got dynamic flexibility, which is sort of where it goes within the full range of motion and then comes back again to its resting point. So it might be like, in, like this, the sort of leg swing, the hamstring is getting stretched briefly and then comes back down, so it kind of bounds like that. And so those two types of flexibility are kind of, they're sort of independent of each other. It sort of means that um, you can have good dynamic flexibility, but still not have that good static flexibility, and vice versa. Um, it, it does sort of benefit the other in some way to have good one, but it's they're sort of mainly independent of, from each other. Um, so that's the first thing you need to understand. And a kick is basically a dynamic movement, so dynamic flexibility is what we're going to be looking at in this video. So now let's just sort of briefly cover what sort of muscles are the ones that need to be flexible in order to be able to kick. Generally speaking, so most types of kicks, let's say you've got the front kick, you've got your round side, all these different types, they mainly sort of require flexibility from the hamstring, the back of the leg, inside the leg, just here, because then it's all opposite. So these muscles move it up. The ones on the other side are the ones that need to stretch. So it's mainly these two, but maybe if you're doing kicks behind as well, there's sort of muscles just here. You might be able to feel them on the side of your hip. That sort of needs to have a bit of flexibility in order to do that as well. So briefly in what I'm going to show you is like a, a stretching routine. So main ones here, a bit of glutes as well if you any sort of especially knees, if you do knees a lot, a tie box or something similar, you need this in the glutes. So let's just break down each move in the sort of stretching routine. It's not very long or big though. You don't need to do that much in order to start boosting your dynamic flexibility in this area. So the first sort of dynamic stretch is um, a high kick. It's literally just swinging your leg up as high as you're comfortable with. Don't try and deliberately force it too high. Um, but if you want, you can also put your hand out and kick that. So say you kick, you swing your leg to about there. Try and aim it slightly higher. You should find you should be able to reach the target when you've actually got something to aim for. And then you do the same on the other side. You can either alternate like this and do the alternating where you can just do like 5 to 10 on one side. You only need to do between 5 and 10, really. And then swap sides. So that's the first one called a high kick. <clears throat> the second one we're going to do is going to work more on the inside of the leg and it also has a sort of strengthening benefit on these muscles that cause this movement here, which is quite useful for kicking like sideways or for just for your chamber in general. It's quite useful to have some development of these muscles. So it's just like a side leg wrench. It's gonna, I mean, if you can use the surface to stabilize yourself. If your balance isn't that good, if you wanna try and work your balance at the same time. So you're gonna pass through this way. So it works this side and you might as well do it like this. So here, swing up. Like so just try and swing your leg as high as you can. Out 
to the side and then you can do it on the other side as well. Like that. So that's the second stretch that you want to do. Between five and ten times on each leg, that's all you really need to do. Um, if you feel like you're really stiff, then you can feel free to do a bit more if you want to. Let's go to the third one now. So the last one is kind of targeted a bit more at these sort of back hip movements just on here, but it also does, you'll feel it stretch the hamstring as well, especially if they're a bit tight. So you want to find some sort of flat surface about hip height, it can be a bit lower, it's not that big of a deal. Place your hands on it and then swing your legs backwards, or just one leg at a time rather. As high as feels comfortable, don't try and force it too much. Like I said, you should pull, feel it pull on the hamstring a bit as well. So just do between 5 and 10. If you, I mean, if you're new to it, you might want to do a bit more, like say 10 and 15 of each one. And just do that, uh, say every morning, every day, and you should start noticing improvement in your kicking ability. So. Okay, well that's pretty much it for this video, just that simple routine there that I mentioned. Just, uh, so first one is high kicks, first exercise, second one, legs or leg raises, side leg raises, that's what I meant. So sideways, up to the side like that, and then back swings or back kicks, just between 5 and 10 or 5 and 15 repetitions on each leg. And just do that every single day. That's the whole routine, and you should notice good improvement in your dynamic flexibility in kicking. Uh, uh, another good way to just simply improve kicking height is just to continuously practice the kicks themselves, because as dynamic movements, they can help in the same way that just the targeted stretching does. Okay, so that's this video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, just so you know. I've released a new ebook recently all about um, sort of fitness training in re direct relation to martial arts and how you as maybe a, as a beginner or as someone who has been practicing martial arts for a while but never delved too much into the fitness side of things and you want to have a look at how you can potentially improve your fitness level to help supplement and increase your martial arts potential then feel free to have a look I'll put it in the, the description for the link all you have to do is um, sign up for the email subscription and then you just get the book completely for free so that's all that and um, other than that thanks for watching see you next time